Hi, and welcome back to Hands-on Infrastructure Automation with Terraform on AWS by Pack Publishing. Introducing modules. Up until now, we have been working with Terraform configurations directly. Whenever we wanted to add a resource or change some of its properties, we were editing the configuration files. This is a great way to become comfortable using Terraform, but as our infrastructure grows, defining the same resource over and over again will become quite tedious. When we want to avoid writing duplicate code in a general-purpose programming language, we usually write a library. In Terraform, we can put our code in a module. So here is what we are going to cover in this section. We will start by introducing the concept of a module in Terraform and what is the motivation behind using modules. We will then refactor one of our Terraform projects from the previous section into a generic reusable module. Next, we will learn how to make our modules more flexible with conditionals, and we will see that there are some gotchas that we need to be aware of when we are working with modules. And after that, we will explore how we can use external modules, and what are the, some of the benefits of doing so. You can think about modules as reusable blueprints for your infrastructure. They allow us to address several problems. The first is that modules help us to reuse our code easily. Usually it takes some time to get the configuration of a resource just right. When we need to provision another resource or a group of resources of the same type, we can use a module instead of reinventing the wheel or copying and pasting code. This saves time and effort to write new code, but it also helps with maintaining it. If you find a bug in your module, you only need to fix it in one place. Another benefit is that modules provide an abstraction layer on top of our infrastructure. This can make complex configurations much easier to conceptualize. For example, you may need to add a Vault cluster to your environment, and Vault is another great HashiCorp tool which is used for managing secrets. It requires dozens of components, but instead of thinking about individual security groups or EC2 instances, you can treat all these resources as a single group, which requires some parameters and gives you a ready-to-use Vault cluster. Under the hood, we still have access to all the low-level resources, such as subnets, security groups, or load balances. But now we can start thinking at a higher level, about our application as a whole. A module which creates dozens of resources may only require a handful of configuration parameters and hide all the complexity which it may have inside, without needing any knowledge of how Vault works, how to install it, how to form a Vault cluster and configure it to use console as the backend, we can create a working cluster in just a few minutes. This also means that we can write a module, make sure that it follows all best practices, and then give it to other teams to use. This makes infrastructure development easy by default and provides what Networks calls the paved road. Not every team within an organization may have experts on networking or database management. But if they follow the established patterns, they can simply use the supported modules from the internal library and provision the environment quite easily. And another feature of modules is that they can be versioned, which means we can treat them as immutable artifacts and promote from one environment to the other.